The Apple logo is definitely one of its kind, with the kind of versatility that it holds despite having the most minimal design ever. Apple has managed to create one of the most recognizable images in the world. Anyone anywhere in the world can look at this image of a half-bitten Apple and know that it represents one of the most powerful tech companies of modern times. But what most people don't know is the fact that the bite in the Apple logo has a history of its own. So what's the story behind the bite in the most famous Apple in the world? Let's find out. Now, over the years, several theories have emerged as to why Janoff decided to draw a half-bitten apple as the company's logo instead of the whole fruit. Out of these many stories, many Apple employees believe that the bite was there to pay tribute to Alan Turing, the father of modern-day computing. Legend has it that Turing, who had led a terribly sad life, ended his life by biting into an apple laced with cyanide, and when Jobs was laying down the foundation of his own company, he wanted to honor Turing's legacy, which he did through his iconic logo. Some people have also linked the history of the bite to the story of Adam and Eve when they took a bite of the forbidden apple from the Garden of Eden. But how does that work for the company? According to former Apple executive Jean-Louis Gasset, the logo stands as a symbol for the lust of knowledge, symbolizing Apple's vision behind their products, to enlighten the human race and give them brand new tools to receive and share all kinds of information. However, according to Janoff, he really did not draw inspiration from any external sources to design what has now become one of the world's most famous logos. All that Jobs told him to do was to include an apple in the logo, for reasons that were never disclosed to him. In fact, all he wanted to do was to create a logo that was easy to look at and even easier to replicate, which is exactly why he added the bite for the purpose of scaling. Another reason why Janoff decided to design the logo with the bite was the fact that he didn't want people to mistake the fruit for a cherry or a tomato and a bite just helped people recognize the apple better. According to Janoff, the bite was coincidentally turned into a play on the word bite, B-Y-T-E, which is the foundation stone for computing. Pretty cool, right? Well, considering all of this, the story behind the bite in the Apple logo is still pretty ambiguous. But whether it's inspired from Newton, Alan Turing, or something entirely else, there's no denying that the Apple logo has definitely set a benchmark in design like no other. Well, that's a wrap for the history of the Apple logo. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. We'll see you next time.